Hey everyone, this is Navar from Solar Punk Station, and today we're going to take a look at my new electric vehicle. I was on the solar car team back in undergrad and built battery packs for the solar car and the Pulse EV project that was featured on a Discovery Channel documentary. Uh, that was a pretty cool experience, and I managed to even get stuffed into the trunk of an EV1 at one point. So I've been around EVs for a while, uh, but I've never had my own. So this is, this is a new experience for me that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, and while Truckla is the coolest truck on the road, my EV is a little bit more cycle truck than pickup. Say hello to my new Rad Powered Bikes, Rad Runner Plus. It's a sort of utility bike. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's got that uh, moped seat on the back. And I'm really looking forward to riding it around town. Uh, we'll go and head and look at it a little more closely now. I'm not going to do a proper unboxing video for this uh, for a couple reasons. One, I don't have a wide angle lens uh, and this thing's huge. And part two, because I've been waiting for the bike for more than three months and I'm just really wanting to get this thing on the road. Uh, here you can see the sport numbers. Uh, we'll open it up and you see we got our front wheel there. It's tucked in uh, safely. It's not in the front fork. It's kind of in the space where the step over is uh, that you saw earlier. Uh, it's a pretty big tire there, and then we'll take a look here at the seat. It's a really nice brown color, which we'll see once we get that foam and plastic taken off there. And the only real issue I saw with the bike when I was unpacking it is there is a very small nick in the back of the seat post, but it doesn't look like it went all the way to metal. It just looks like it went through the outer layer of paint and down to the primer, so it's not anything too much to worry about. Uh, then here we have our small box of parts. Cut it open here. Uh, see what we've got inside here. First up we've got some pedals. They're actually metal pedals. They're not plastic. They're pretty solid. Uh, I've heard of well ago before. Uh, so it's at least something I've heard of. I haven't had a pair before but and we got our congratulations on buying your stuff and an owner's manual. Uh, we'll look through the owner's manual later. And a giant headlight. This is going to be great. This is bigger than any headlight I've ever had on a bike. Uh, it's probably motorcycle size. I don't know. I don't have a motorcycle, but it's huge, enormous. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. And there's some plastic film in here. Uh, let's see, uh, this isn't coming off. Yeah. yeah, let's not break that. Uh, oh, there's a screw down here on the bottom. We'll do that later. Anyway. Uh, we have a handy dandy tool kit. Uh, okay. And fender mounting hardware. That's good to have. And the handlebar faceplate hardware so we can actually attach the handlebar to the bike. That's usually pretty good to have as well. And we have one little more box in here. And that looks like it's our charger. So here we have uh, that front wheel is packaged separately like we showed in the Part while it's still in the box, uh, there's this little plastic cover on one side. There's a smaller one on the other side, but it's still intact. Uh, but if we look at the wheel here, the the entrance for the quick release hub looks like it's still still fine. There aren't any huge gouges or cracks or anything. So it seems like that little plastic cover did its job and kept this thing uh, safe in shipping. So good job, shipping people. So, like I said, I didn't stop at every stage. I've already taken off some of the foam and zip ties here, but there are so many zip ties and so much foam. It's nice to know that they wanted to make sure the bike was protected, but this amount of packaging is uh, a lot. It's intense. There's some of it just here on the table still. Uh, so yeah, lots of zip ties and foam. And some more over here. Just just be expecting it if you if you order a bike from Rad Power.
So now here we have the bike and we've pulled the packaging material off of it. We'll do a quick scan over it. We haven't put the front wheel on yet so it still has its little packaging thingamabob on there and we need to put the handlebars on but you can see the frame. It's this really nice silver color. I kind of like it. I like it better than the the dark black and the dark green of the, the base model of this bike uh, just because it should be more visible but we do have that nice black top to the frame where you step through so it won't get as dirty from shoes and all that fun stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to save this front fork mount uh, for something later and we can see the bolts here uh, and that's where we'll be mounting our front rack later which keeps it nice and stable as opposed to having one that's actually mounted on the fork that moves around and stuff. And here's the bike after we got the handlebars on it. We're getting closer. So here we have the front rack and the large platform that Rad sells. It goes with a bunch of their different bikes and connects to that head tube mount uh, I pointed out earlier. Um, I already put them together um, and here we have our big headlight but if you look it's not going to clear the tire where it fits on the front rack uh, so we're going to need to change how it mounts. This is a clip that came with the front rack to mount the headlight but it's designed for their smaller regular headlight. Uh, if we kind of dry fit it you can see that the headlight isn't going to yeah, it's not going to fit in there. So we're going to try flipping this big mount that comes with the headlight itself. And now we cut and now we are putting it back together after I pulled everything off. There was uh, a lot of dropping things, so we'll just we'll just skip that part and you can see uh, how we put it back together uh, now that we pulled the mount off and are moving it around. <laughs> it's going great, you can see. Um... Now that we got that flipped, we're going to go ahead and attach it. We're not going to make anything too tight, and I'm not going to put any zip ties on here for the cables yet. I want to check it against that front wheel and make sure we actually clear before I get everything in a more permanent location. Uh, just as a quick note, other than I had a pair of side cutters for the zip ties and I used my knife to open some of the tape, um, but this wrench and Allen key uh, came from the toolkit, so you don't really need much other than what they send you in that little black bag which is nice. So pro tip here, um, you can see I took the platform off. Um, you can't really get in here. You get these bottom screws on to bolt this front rack on unless you take it off. And here's after we fix that issue and as you can see we're actually clearing that headlight with the front tire by just a little bit which is great. And here's the bike as I was about to take it on its first trip. I ran down to the post office to drop off some packages. Uh, just some quick notes. I really like the electric assist. It makes it way easier. It's pretty hilly here, so it makes getting over those hills a lot easier. Uh, it keeps my heart rate a little bit more even. Uh, the kickstand on this bike is probably the weakest point on it. It's just a side stand and while it's pretty sturdy it's not super great for loading things uh, as I did almost dump the bike on its side at one point which wasn't super awesome. And here's after the package run. So here in Charlottesville it's become a bit of a rite of passage for a new e-bike or cargo bike owner to go to the recycling center with their stuff. So here we go. I'm on my way. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I already dumped one of the this uh, back box because I didn't strap things down right, so we're almost there though, so hopefully that'll work out alright. Everybody give me a thumbs up or thumbs down on whether you think that uh, we should keep doing video here at Solar Punk Station. Uh, sorry I didn't have any video of the bike in action, but I don't have a mount. I didn't really want to ditch my phone on the road and have it get run over by a car or something. So there's that. Uh, if you want to see the bike in action, then Sappy Little Trees has done a couple videos uh, riding hers around. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description to some of her videos if you want to see the bike uh, actually going down the road. So have a great day and thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting Solar Punk Station, everyone. So I've been around EVs for a while now, uh, but I haven't had the funds for my own until recently. And while Truckla is the coolest truck on the road, my EV is a little more cycle truck than pickup truck.